Facebook has been around for nearly two decades now. Over the years, it has managed to become the biggest social media platform and is showing no signs of stopping anytime soon. However, in order to retain its top spot, the social networking service in question has to constantly work on updates and new features to keep its user base satisfied and engaged. Well, today isn't any different either. According to reverse engineering expert Jane Manchin Wong, Facebook is testing Face ID app lock for Messenger. Wong also attached a screenshot with her tweet through which we can get a better idea about the feature in question. In the screenshot, it is clearly mentioned that once you enable Face ID, you will be required to use this ID to unlock the Messenger app. However, you will still be able to reply to messages through notifications or respond to incoming calls without unlocking the app. You will be able to enable the feature either immediately after you exit Messenger or after a certain duration, 1 minute, 15 minutes or 1 hour. It's interesting to note that Wong discovered this feature while using Messenger for Android. So, it's highly possible that the Face ID will become biometric authentication instead of Apple's Face ID. Moreover, it was mentioned in Wong's tweet screenshot that Face ID won't be sent to or stored by Facebook Inc. While the Face ID can prove to be a beneficial feature for Messenger users, there's more to look forward to. Yes, that's right as renowned social media consultant Matt Navara had interesting news of his own to share regarding Facebook. Navara recently tweeted that Facebook has rolled out new options to help you adjust your active status settings. As per the screenshot provided in his tweet, you will be able to choose whether you would like your active status to be displayed to your friends and contacts or not. Furthermore, you would be able to choose where you would like your active status to be shown Facebook, Messenger, both or none. These new settings will also replace your current settings and this will go for Facebook, Messenger and Portal devices. The new options have reportedly been added to Facebook. In case you can't spot them, it could either be that you need to update Facebook and or Messenger or that they are being rolled out slowly. As for the Face ID feature, it's in the testing phase at the moment and whether and when it would be released or not remains unknown. Stay tuned for further updates. Please subscribe our YouTube channel Listen News here. If you like the video please like, comment and share the video.